conditions. Fresno police are investigating two separate homicides that happened over the weekend. One man was killed early yesterday morning in southwest Fresno, and another was gunned down last night at an apartment complex in central Fresno. Action News reporter Brianna Willis joins us now live from Fresno Police Headquarters downtown with an update on both of those investigations. Brianna. Lauren, this weekend's homicides are the 19th and 20th in the city of Fresno so far this year. And while Fresno police say homicides are down 41% this year compared to last year, they still say both of the victims this weekend are innocent and neither of them deserve to die. Quite frankly, this is a, this is a travesty. Um, this individual, uh, unlike uh, um, like all of our other victims in the cases, they don't deserve to die. But in this particular case, the only crime that uh, Simon committed was walking home with his wife. Fresno police say just after midnight Sunday, 25-year-old Simon Martinez and his wife were walking home from a party near Thorn Avenue and Geary Street. Uh, at some point, they were accosted by a white male in his 20s, and, and for lack of better words, that individual tried to rob them. Uh, the robbery went um, all right. Lieutenant Cervantes with the Fresno Police Department says despite the suspect having a gun, Martinez was able to pin him to the ground. But at that point is when two other people came to the scene. Our new merges are stating that a vehicle pulled over and shot someone, uh, and it was a white vehicle, no further description. Martinez was rushed to Community Regional Medical Center, where he later died. Police say all suspects are still at large and had no connection to Martinez and his wife. Simon Martinez is not a gang member. He is a person that worked in the landscaping business. He'd been married to his wife for three years. They do not have any children, but by all accounts and talking to his family, he, he's a hard worker. Also on Sunday, just after 4 p.m., officers responded to a shooting at an apartment complex near Clinton and Weber Avenues. When they arrived, they found 46-year-old Silvano Villafierro shot. First responders took him to the hospital where he died. Lieutenant Cervantes says their investigation revealed 28-year-old Kalon White as a suspect for Villafierro's murder. Uh, I can tell you that uh, Kalon does have a criminal history. He is a gang member. Uh, some of his criminal history uh, dates way back all the way to 2010. Some of those arrests include um, auto theft, robbery, shootings, and things of that sort. Homicides are still down this year compared to previous years in the city of Fresno. In 2021, 42 people died by July 17th, compared to 32 people in 2022 and 20 so far this year. Lieutenant Cervantes adds there's still more work to do. I, I'm not taking a victory lap at all. Uh, about 40% decrease is good, but I do believe there's a lot of room to improve. Now, police are still working to identify the suspects in Martinez's case. For Via Fierno's case, they say the suspect is still at large, and if you see him, he is dangerous. If you know anything about either of these investigations, you're asked to call Fresno Police. Live in downtown Fresno, Brianna Willis, ABC 30 Action News.